Hello, let's talk about the woman in the dunes. Today, a book that is written by Kobo Abe, a Japanese author who is claimed to be a Japanese Kafka. However, this book didn't give me those Kafkaesque vibes, unlike other Abe's books like the Boxman or Secret Rendezvous, for example. But we'll talk about it later. So, The Woman in the Dunes. This book caught me, it got me from the very beginning. And I'm talking about the back cover. After missing the last bus home, following a day trip to the seashore, an amateur entomologist is offered lodging for the night at the bottom of a vast sand pit. But when he attempts to leave the next morning, he quickly discovers that the locals have other plans. Da -da -dum. And the first words of the first chapter didn't leave me any chance to stop the acquaintance with the novel. Just a second. One day in August, a man disappeared. He had simply set out for the seashore on a holiday, scarcely half a day away by train, and nothing more was ever heard of him. Investigation by the police and inquiries in the newspapers had both proved fruitless. The thing is, for many years, I have been really interested in missing persons' cases. And... Voila! Um, the beginning seemed really promising and intriguing. And just a few words about the plot for you to get an idea. I will try to make it really quickly and spoilerless. So, um, from the first pages, we discover that the main character has been missing for seven years and then we make this time leap back in order to see what really happened to the person and the main character the school teacher from tokyo is really interested in insects particularly in one certain kind of beetle and one day, when he was visiting a village, in order to um, try to find those special, specific new um, beetle species, he was so obsessed uh, with the process, with this hunt, that he missed the last bus home. And the villagers seemed to be pretty polite and hospitable and they offer um, the main character shelter and the shelter is in the sand in the dunes basically and in order to get there one has to use the rope ladder and um, the main character has to share his new home with a new neighbor of his a young widow who uh, seems to be really um, weird and disturbing. The next morning, as he wakes up, he um, realizes that he's trapped. The rope ladder is gone and everything is covered with sand. He cannot leave. And the only option that is left is to shovel out, shovel back the sand of the house together with his new companion and neighbor, this young widow. This is a really existential novel with so many layers, so many bottoms and metaphors, but you are free to perceive this book whatever you like, of course. For example, just as a thriller. Why not? However, if you feel like you're drowning in different thoughts and questions about the meaning of life, the purpose of life, 
or you doubt that your priorities are constant and unshakable, then beware. And yeah, I warned you <laughs> because this novel can be really tough and claustrophobic in any possible ways. At the very beginning, I said that I didn't get those Kafkaesque vibes while reading The Woman in the Dunes. Instead, this book reminded me of Camus' um, Le Tanger, The Stranger, because this book also questions the appropriateness of acceptance and the ability, the capacity of a human mind to manage to be happy in spite all in spite of all circumstances and all weird coincidences or any reality at all. I know that the book has been filmed in 1964 but unfortunately, I haven't seen the screen adaptation. Have you seen it? If so, let me know what you think of it. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the comments. Bye.